SpaceX finally launches its Starship SN20 to orbital. On August 5, SpaceX sent the latest generation of Starship to the launch pad in preparation for an ambitious orbital test. The SN20 Starship prototype departed its manufacturing plant in Boca Chica, Texas, on its way to the launch pad to join the Super Heavy first stage rocket, which had arrived two days earlier. While SpaceX and its creator, Elon Musk, have yet to respond to the launch on Twitter, the event was broadcast live as the firm prepares for its next mission, which SpaceX expects to launch in the coming months, depending on technical and regulatory success. So, for today's video, let's discuss SpaceX finally launching its Starship SN20 to orbital. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. What's with the Starship SN20? SpaceX temporarily placed its newest Starship prototype on top of a Super Heavy rocket booster earlier this month. The experiment provided us with a sense of the size of what is now known as the world's highest rocket, which is higher than the enormous Saturn V rockets that carried the Apollo astronauts to the moon in the late 1960s and early 1970s. On August 6, 2021, engineers conducted a stacking test at the private company's Starbase facility in South Texas. Elon Musk, SpaceX's creator and CEOs, said on Twitter that seeing the vehicle ready for flight was a dream come true. And the process and fully stacked rockets is impressive, as you can see in the video above. SpaceX's SN20 serial or serial number 20 prototype was the Starship stacked on August 6. It stands at around 160 feet tall on its own. The Starship was attached to a Super Heavy booster called Booster 4, which stands at 230 feet tall. They fly a whopping 390 feet into the sky as a pair. NASA's Saturn V rocket, by contrast, stood at 363 feet tall. When the launch stand is included, the total height reaches 407 to 5 feet, which is higher than a 40-story skyscraper. Testing before takeoff. Starship prototypes have already flown. In May, for example, the SN15 model successfully completed a 6-mile high or 10-kilometer high test flight that soared upward before returning to Earth and landing upright. Although the Super Heavy has yet to take to the air, SpaceX hopes to change that soon. However, when that day will arrive is unknown at this time. Before they can launch, the Starship spaceship and the Super Heavy rocket must undergo critical testing of their thermal shields and other equipment. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is also reviewing SpaceX's launch procedures, and there's no indication of when they will be completed. Musk also said that the two must add at least four significant items in order to completely function. He indicated some final heat shield tiles, engine thermal protection, and additional ground propellant storage tanks on Twitter. According to CNBC, the Starship will also need a fast disconnect arm which will connect the rocket's power and fuel lines before launch. Two weeks, he said at the end of his remarks. On August 6, 2021, SpaceX placed its newest Starship prototype on top of a Super Heavy rocket booster for a short look at the size of what is currently known as the world's largest rocket. The stacking test was carried out at the company's Starbase facility in South Texas by engineers. SpaceX S Starship SN20 rolls out to launch path. The 230-foot-tall Booster 4 will be subjected to a series of compression and engine tests in the near future. If Booster 4 passes its tests, the rocket will be ready to launch SN20 on a round-the-world journey. However, considering that the United States has not yet launched a rocket, it is uncertain when it will do so. We don't know when the Federal Aviation Administration will complete its environmental assessment of Starship's launch operations. Similarly, the SN20 is equipped with a total of six Raptor engines, three of which are designed for sea-level thrust, similar to the 29 engines used by the Super Heavy, and three of which are optimized for thrust in a space vacuum. Because they were doing a restricted flight test and flying exclusively inside the Earth's atmosphere, the prototype to just three engines tuned for sea level thrust in all prior flight tests. Booster 4 is scheduled to splash down in the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 20 miles offshore, a few minutes after launch, according to the orbital flight plan. 
Ascend 20 will proceed into orbit, complete one round of the Earth, and ultimately crash into the Pacific Ocean near the Hawaiian island of Kauai 90 minutes after liftoff. The Starship was recently chosen as the crewed lander for NASA's Artemis mission, which aims to land people on the moon in the late 2020s. The Starship is a completely reusable, two-stage transportation vehicle that SpaceX intends to use to carry goods and people to the moon, Mars, and other locations in the solar system. But it's unclear when the pair will undertake the first-ever Starship orbital journey before being cleared to take flight from the launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. The spacecraft and its rocket must pass a series of technical tests. Both the Super Heavy and the Starship SN20 will be subjected to static fire testing. The latest in a series of prototype releases for the Starship series is SN20, which stands for Serial No 20. For instance, a three-engine spacecraft known as SN15 soared to a maximum height of 6.2 miles before returning to Earth safely. According to Musk, the final Starship spaceship will have six Raptor engines, while the ultimate Super Heavy version will likely have 32 Raptor engines. The top level is 106 to 5 feet tall and is also known as the Starship, which is a little confusing. Starship, Moon, Mars, and beyond. Things are heating up at Space XE's South Texas launch facility, which is situated just outside Boca Chica, Texas. The Super Heavy Booster 3 prototypes rollout and static fire test have been the talk of the aerospace world in recent weeks. This was the first time a generator, which will be used to launch the Starship into space in the near future, was put to the test. Things have only become more intense since then. Who could dispute SpaceX's expectation that Starship and Super Heavy will be operational soon? The year 2023 is often cited as the year when the complete system will be fully functioning. The mission is also expected to have a ceiling of 200 kilometers above sea level, based on prior comments. If the test goes well, SpaceX will be ready to launch its first commercial missions in 2023, which would include a lunar flyby. Yusaku Mizawa, a Japanese millionaire and art collector, and a crew of eight artists will fly around the moon as part of the hashtag Dear Moon campaign. The Starship is a two-stage, fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. According to SpaceX, NASA has chosen this system as the moon lander for its crewed Artemis program, which aims to send the first man to the moon since the 1970s, as well as the first woman ever. Despite the fact that SpaceX's competitor, Blue Origin, has publicly fought and criticized the decision, claiming that Starship's refueling launches are a danger to NASA's lunar mission integrity. NASA has maintained its selection and shot for boots on the lunar surface by 2024 during Trump's presidency. President Biden has yet to commit to a timetable after one year in office. Which portion of the video surprised you the most? Are you excited about the Starship SN20's launch? Are you enjoying watching these kinds of videos? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications of our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.